Welcome back everybody my name is Buddy Blackford and today in Photoshop CS6 we're gonna learn how to make channel masks from your native color channels here. So we're gonna make a color mask or a channel mask from either the R, the red green or the blue channels. So go ahead and go to your channels panel and just single out one of your um, color channels. Now what you're looking for is the one that has the most contrast between black and white or the channel that pretty much it has the most black or white in the areas that you want to mask out. So when I'm looking at these I pretty much want to just mask out this whole entire moon and this red channel looks like it does a pretty good job of it. If I check out the blue channel you can see there's more black and everything in there and in the red channel not as much so I'm gonna duplicate the red channel and here we go I got this right here going on so if I tried to use this right now as the color channel all this extra gray and everything is going to show up um, as different opacities and the whites are gonna be different uh, opacity than like these gray areas so what we're gonna do is add the threshold adjustment image adjustments and threshold and you can see now that it makes a nice crisp black and white image and if it's not perfect just adjust the threshold down here to where you want it to be as you can see it goes uh, a little different um, as you move it around you can check and uncheck the preview to um, see what you're looking at and just hit OK and now you've got a new alpha mask created right from one of your color channels and that was quick and really easy you don't have to do any selections or anything really so that's uh, how you do that now when you're working with more advanced images you may get some extra um, artifacting or pieces of black that might show up where you want it to be white all you need to do is just like any other um, channel here any other channel mask just go with your brush tool and just paint that stuff out so if I wanted to add some little things here or something like that and I wanted these little squiggles to be in my mask that's all I have to do is go ahead and paint on my channel mask so use your paintbrush to clean up things or some of your selection tools so that's how you're gonna do that and it's really quick and really easy to do so thanks a lot for watching this one really quick tutorial really quick tip and hopefully you guys can use it to speed up your process. See you guys later at the next tutorial.